Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stew and the crew. Today we have some Dollar Tree DIY videos for you guys to go over some different crafts that we've made this week. There's a whole bunch in this group. I think there's six in all that we've made. So let's go over the supplies to make all of them. We'll need some different wood pieces from Dollar Tree, as well as some different signs and glass pieces that you choose. We'll need some rub-on transfers, and then some Mod Podge and a sponge brush. Also some hot glue. We'll need scissors. The screwdriver to take apart the ring box. Also a mini scraper. They come in these four packs from Dollar Tree. Some paint of your choice. I'm going to use white paint and either some watered down brown paint or antiquing wax. And then some twine. We'll also use one of these foam rollers and either a popsicle stick or a craft stick that you can use the transfers with, some thumbtacks, some faux leather, and either fabric or felt. We'll need some flowers and some greenery to decorate a few of the different projects. So let's get crafty. The first thing we're going to do is project number one, we're going to make this DIY ring box. It's really easy to make. So they have these little like hinges and clasp on the front. We're going to use a small screwdriver to remove the screws. Of course, don't lose them, put them aside somewhere um, so that you can put this back together when you're done painting it. It's just easier to decorate the outside of the box without having the hardware in the way. So I took all of those off and then I'm just going to go lightly over the box with um, some white paint and I just did one layer. I didn't really care if I could see the wood grain through the paint. I actually prefer it that way. And then once I have one coat of paint on the whole outside of the box, we're just going to use a dry brush and use a small amount of brown paint that's either watered down with just a little bit of water on the brush or you could use the anti heat wax from like Walmart and just paint over the edges and a little bit on the sides. If you get too much in one spot, you can just use a paper towel to wipe off the excess. But we're just aging this box a little bit using the watered down brown paint. So as you can see, I just wipe off anywhere where I think there was too much brown and I just gave the box an aged look. And I do the same thing to the lid. This is the bottom of the box. I did not paint the inside. Okay, so then I take these new transfers from Dollar Tree. I pick out a few different ones that I want to use on the ring box. And then I um, first decorate the lid. And I wish I would have used some tape to tape down the transfer when I first started. I thought that they would lay a little bit better on top of the box without sliding around so much like the ones on the plastic sheets at Dollar Tree sells. So later on with the other projects, I do use some tape to hold the transfer into place, but you can do it without the tape. It's just a little bit easier if you tape them down. So as you can see, you're just going to hold it in place and then rub over top of the transfer paper and you can see it change color when the transfer comes off of the paper and sticks to the wood portion. So at first I just decided to do the lid. Later on I do add another transfer to the inside of the box but then um, before I do that I just go over lightly the um, transfer with some Mod Podge. Now I'm going to take a foam roller and I'm going to measure it just mark it with a pencil and then cut two pieces that are the same length and these are going to be um, used on the inside portion of the box. And this will help hold our jewelry in place. So now that we've got those cut down to size, we'll take some of that faux leather and we're just going to use a ruler to help get a straight edge. And then we'll cut some squares with the faux leather to wrap those rollers in. So I don't measure super accurate here. I just want enough of the faux leather that it hangs a little bit past the edge of the roller, the roller that I cut. And of course we'll need the two pieces and then we'll add some hot glue to the back side of that faux leather and start wrapping it around the roller piece until we have it overlapping. Don't worry too much about the edges. You're not going to see them once we tuck them down into the box. Now I do add a little bit of glue in the box to help hold these in place. 
and then I just slide those down and make sure that they are laying at the same height. So you don't want to push them all the way down into the box. You want them raised up just a tad. And as you can see, you can put like a ring or a charm right in the middle and it will hold your jewelry in place. So I still felt like the inside of the box was a little bit um, too plain. So I went over it with a flower transfer and added that to the inside of the lid just to help give it a little bit more decoration and obviously i've added the hardware back onto the box with the hinges and the clasp on the front and again you want to go over that inside portion with some mod podge so that is the first project done just this little ring box so for project number two we are going to be making this little board here it's so easy to make they sell these at dollar tree now for dollar 25 and all we're going to do is take some watered down brown paint or some stain and you're going to rub over top of the wood piece with your stain or paint or you can leave it the natural wood color. It's really up to you. I chose to do mine with some watered down brown paint because I do want to see the wood grain and I didn't want it real waxy with the antiquing wax. So I wasn't sure the transfer would stick all that well. Um, and then I just cut out this large flower transfer from the same sheet that we've been using. And then I did tape this one down to help hold it in place, especially because it's a larger transfer and it just makes it a lot easier to do. And then I wrap the edges where the transfer was a little bit large. I just wrap it around the sides of the wood piece so that the whole transfer will just kind of wrap around um, the edges and just blend all the way in. I thought it looked nicer that way instead of, instead of just having like a very blunt edge where the transfer would just stop. I kind of like it where you can see the picture wrapping around the edges of the board. And I did let this dry before I applied the transfer. So again, just using my um, tool here. Again, you could use a craft stick. You could use um, a like dowel rod, really anything that, that has like a nice edge to it that you can use to rub over top of the transfer will work. And we're just going to go over top of it. As you can see, it changes color when the transfer is transferring onto the wood. That's how you know you've done a good job. And you want to go over this lightly, but make sure you go over it um, pretty precise. You want to make sure you get all the pieces covered so that when you remove your sheet, you see that all the ink has transferred to the board below. And if you're not sure if the whole thing is transferred, I recommend slowly lifting the paper because if it didn't, you can try to lay it back down in place before you move it too much so that it will line up. So then I had the flowers done. I used a few pieces of, it kind of looked like chicken wire. And so I decided to wrap a few pieces of that around the edges where it looked a little bit plain, um, just to help tie it in around the edges as well, make it look a little bit more kind of farmhouse feel with that um, chicken wire on the edges of the sign here. So I did a little bit down in the bottom left corner and then a little bit on the right also. I didn't worry about decorating the back of this sign all that much because it's going to be leaning against a wall where I'm placing it. And so I didn't really care what the back looked like as far as adding the transfers. I added a little bead to the top, a little bit more chicken wire around the edges there. And then to dress this up just a little bit more, um, first I covered it, of course, with the Mod Podge. But then once that was dry, I went ahead and added some twine and a pretty little flower and some greenery to the top. Of course, that part's going to be optional. I do really recommend adding the Mod Podge, however, to the top of the transfer. I'm sure it will stay. They felt like they were really well placed on the wood. Didn't feel like it was going to come off. It doesn't feel waxy or anything like that. But I just feel like if you're going to have this in like a high traffic area for mine, I'm going to put it in the kitchen. I just felt it was better to have the Mod Podge on top. So then there's the bow, a little bit of greenery and a flower to decorate it. And this one is all finished. Super easy to make. And now for our third project. So project number three, we're going to be making this little jug here with the flowers. Dollar Tree has had these little pictures out off and on a few times a year. They just had some different color ones out around Mother's Day. They were like a pink and a blue color. 
All I'm going to do is take that mini scraper from Dollar Tree and just scrape off the design that's on the picture. They sell these in a couple different colors. They had them in pink, green, and white with the farmhouse pictures on them. And then the ones they had out for Mother's Day, they're like a tri-color. It's kind of like white at the top and it fades down into like a really pretty rose color, pink, blue. And so you'll just want to clean that um, picture off. Then I taped down this transfer that I picked from the same sheet that I used for the other two projects. And you're going to tape that down to the surface of the glass. And then again, just rub over top of your transfer until you've covered the whole entire thing. And you know that you've got all of the pieces covered so that it's on your glass. And you can see how well it transfers to glass. I think it did a really good job. Um, it transferred just as good onto the glass as it did the um, wood. Now, this is a shiny piece of glass also. And you can see it really stuck well, when I added the Mod Podge to the front of it, it was fine. It didn't like want to come up or anything like that. And then I just added some of these farmhouse flowers to the picture and that one is done. So for number four, we're going to make this little sign here with this farm sweet farm sign. I've had this in my kitchen for quite a while and I thought I would change it up a little bit to match the other floral pieces that I'm making today um, just to switch out the decoration. So again, we're going to use a mini scraper to remove some of the words. If it doesn't seem like it wants to come up all that well, you can also use some sandpaper or I'm just using a emery board or a nail file and it seemed to work really well to help get the lettering off of the metal then you're going to tape your design down to your metal plate and then again go over your transfer making sure you hit all the pieces there to make sure that you get all of that ink transferred onto your metal plate i just wanted to try a bunch of different surfaces to show you guys how well these transfers actually work since this is the first time dollar tree has had this version of a transfer out i thought that would be kind of neat to try a bunch of different surfaces just to see how it would work so it's kind of like a review and a diy craft video for you guys so this is the reveal for the metal plate there's a little bit of a glare here um, so if I pick it up, you guys can see it actually transferred pretty well. I was really surprised how well this transferred onto the metal. I didn't think it was going to work, but then it did. And I was definitely pleasantly surprised. I wish the camera would actually pick up the ink a little bit better because it actually is very vivid on the metal plate. And I don't think the camera does it justice. So once I have... Um, that one done again I went over it with some Mod Podge just because it's going to be in a high traffic area in the kitchen and I want to be able to wipe it clean so now for DIY number five for this project we're going to make this really cute planter and we're going to use one of the DIY wood um, pencil boxes from the Dollar Tree and that faux leather we're going to cut a piece to put on the front of that pencil box so to do that we're just going to lay our pencil box on top of the faux leather of course you want to use the back of it because you're going to be marking it with a pencil or something a pen just to make sure that you have an outline of the size of the box and then we'll cut this leather down so it's a little bit smaller than the box um, that way we'll be able to see the wood behind it so i just cut those down with my scissors and then attach that faux leather piece right to the front of that pencil box. Now take your rub-on transfer, again, tape it down, especially with the leather, it seemed to want to slide a lot on the leather, so I definitely recommend taping it down and then go over it with your um, craft stick or whatever you're using to transfer. Now this actually took a little bit more time to do the transfer. It transferred really well. I was really happy with the way it turned out. Um, but I think it was because the faux leather has a little bit of like bumps on it. It was a little bit harder to get it straight, but it turned out really well. So, so far we've used the glass, metal, wood, and now faux leather. And as you can see, the same transfer sheet that I've been using this whole time, this is still the same sheet. So I've made a lot of pieces with just two sheets of the transfer uh, decorations. And you can see all the different versions they had out and one of my Dollar Tree videos from like the last two weeks. So as you can see, this is what it looks like when we lift up the transfer sheet and it transferred really well to the leather. Again, just the bumps I think made it a little bit harder to get it straight, but it turned out really nice. Now I'm just taking some of these thumbtacks and I'm adding them to the corners and just pushing them through the box to give this faux 
kind of like nails holding the leather onto the box. I thought that would be kind of fun to do. And then I went over the leather with some Mod Podge to make sure that that transfer stays down. And then we're going to just fill the box with some greenery of your choice. I have some more of this greenery from Dollar Tree that is called Farmhouse. They have like farmhouse ferns. They had farmhouse flowers and a couple different floral picks that all have the farmhouse tag. And those came out last week. And I actually saw today at the Dollar Tree, um, two stores I went to had them in the boxes on a U-boat still waiting to be stocked. So there's more out there. If you haven't seen them yet, they are coming. So then for our last project, which is this one here, we're going to use this large transfer and we're going to use some antiquing wax. I was kind of curious um, if it would work to let the transfer stick to the wood just because it's stuck to everything else so far. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and use that antiquing wax and see if it will let the transfer stick onto this as well. So once I have that whole large circle covered in the antiquing wax, I didn't even let it dry. I just went over it with a sponge and a tiny bit of watered down white paint. Um, I just like the way it looked just kind of like a scribble effect on top. And I went over that a few times and just keep blending in the paint until it was the way I liked it. Then I let it dry before I applied the transfer. That's very important to let it dry um, before you try to attach anything. I did take a paper towel and wipe off some of the excess paint just because I felt like it was a little too bumpy and it wasn't going to transfer all that well. So I just rubbed the transfer on. Once that's done, I went over it with a little bit of Mod Podge to seal the transfer. And then we'll decorate the top of the sign. So I had some more of that farmhouse greenery. So I attached that to the top on both sides. And I just kept adding a little bit until I had it filled in the way I liked it. And then I found a flower that I would like to use in the center. And I glued that on also. Then you can replace the hanger or you can just leave it so that it looks like it will lean like up against a wall or you can use one of those picture easels to hold it up. It's really up to you. I ended up replacing the string to hang it by my door. So these are all the projects finished. They're super easy. I love how these transfers work. It sticks to just about anything. Again, the glass, the metal, the faux leather, the wood. It really did a great job. I was pleasantly surprised with these new transfers that Dollar Tree has out right now. And I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and doing these DIYs. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy. Have a great day, everyone.